I do like innuendos. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Alexia Maria Oriuela, reporting for Hollywood Connections inside of the Chan Talk Radio Station with the Dead X Radio guys. I'm here with Patrick X, Schmeckle, Chance, Schmeckle. Well, it's it's Jeff, but uh, actually, I'm I'm usually called a lot worse. Okay. Yeah. I like so yeah. I was always wondering. It was like Schmeckle. I like that. All right. So can you tell everyone about yourself and about your radio? Okay, first off, my name is Chance. I am the god. I am the creator of all things. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Dead X Radio, we talk to celebrities from horror, paranormal, and sci-fi, and all those genres, and we are uncensored, so we have been compared to like Howard Stern meets Art Bell. That's the kind of guys we are. We're pretty uh, rude and crude, but actually smart. Well, that's really cool, and you guys have your own radio. It's yours, and you've been doing it for how long now? Who would like to answer? About three weeks. <laughs> yeah, three weeks is good. It seems like it. Uh, actually, a little over a year and a half. Like Jeff said, we're like up to our 78th episode. Yeah, that's interesting. 78 episodes, and they haven't shut us down yet. So. Over 80 countries. Yeah, over 80, 80, 80 countries over the world. Yeah. Okay. That's so exciting. So what kind of things do you talk about? Now, I know you have a bunch of celebrities come on your show, and you talk about horror, paranormal, and sci-fi. So that's a bunch to talk about. Yeah. But what is typically your guests coming on and talking about? Do you guys want to spread the topic on paranormal? Do your guests share like um, paranormal stories, or if it's sci-fi, do they talk about their sci-fi stories? How does that usually go? Well, uh, usually we okay. I, I just want to be clear. We try to talk about paranormal yeah. horror and science fiction. What usually ends up happening is our ADD takes over, and it usually ends up being uh, crude jokes for the entire show. And then, and then, and then every once in a while we're like, "Wait a minute, are we supposed to talk about paranormal?" And we're like, "Oh yeah." And then, then we like bring in some paranormal stuff. Um, but yeah, we have uh, we have a lot of different. Uh, gosh, I mean, with all the guests we've had, you know, celebrities, movie stars, TV stars, uh, paranormal uh, celebrities from all the different paranormal shows, uh, and everything. And and uh, the coolest part about it is that. Uh, we've had some really cool people that actually have the same brand of crazy as we do, so we've actually grown really good friendships with yeah, these people lucky. too. Lucky to have them. Uh, mostly, uh, we we do interview just about anybody, cosplayers. I mean, it's a, I mean, the celebrities are our main stick, but of course, well, we pretty much talk to anybody um, as long as it's entertainment. Everything is entertainment. Most of the celebrities tell us like what they like to drink, then stuff, uh, alcoholic, of course, um, and stuff like that. So I mean. We get to get to know them in a different light because once you get on our show and realize that it's uncensored and they can let their guard down and be themselves. So it's not the same old, same old, it's not the same old, same old kind of, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. it's not the same old, same old kind of uh, interviews, the bubblegum interviews that everybody does, you know? And, you know what? And that's the one thing too. We've had a lot of people say that that's what they loved about our show is that we're unique because we're not the same cookie cutter show that does the interviews. You know, when you interview somebody from the paranormal, it's always like, where's your most favorite place to hunt? What's the most interesting thing that ever happened to you on a haunting? You know, we're the kind of guys that go, hey, where have you, where have you ever been like busted in the weirdest places for having sex? Right. That's the kind of stuff we ask and get to know. And they answer yeah, because yeah, yeah. They, they become like a part of our group. They feel, and they, we've had this, you know, told to us by many celebrities. They're like, you guys make us feel like one of your group, your inner circle. You know, and they, they just open right up to us. I mean, we get celebrities to say some of the craziest things on our show. Like, uh, we were, uh, can I just hold this for a second? Um, I got a but you, oh. I'll do it for you guys. Oh, thank you. That's so special. That. She taught me that, but I'm breaking oh, the rule for him. She's breaking the rule for me. See, I feel special. I'm sorry, Miss Ellen. Like sorry. <laughs> I, I, well, it's, it's, um, it's a control thing. I'm a control freak. Uh, and, and it's the bling. It's true. That's not even true. It's true. Uh, but well, uh, this this past weekend, uh, we were we interviewed uh, the bassist from Megadeth. Yes. Founding member, rock legend, Megadeth. And uh, after the interview, uh, someone approached us and they said that they were dying dying laughing because they hear all these other people that interview these people and they ask the, the same vanilla questions and someone walked up and is like, oh my god, I can't believe, because we did do this, we asked the basis for Megadeth when he's going to cut his hair and get a real job. <laughs> no, actually one of my favorite ones that we did from this past weekend, we were, in, we were uh, interviewing Kane Hodder from you know quite a few of the Friday 13th, <laughs> yeah, who plays Jason Voorhees and actually I think it was Jeff actually who asked him, how long did you have to study to memorize your lines. Yes, very good. Which there is no lines in that movie. No, it's Jason. Yes. So it's just the machete. So it's just, it's just comedy. I appreciate that, though. Yeah, it's just the kind of stuff that we do to even our guests when they come on. And they get it. They get our humor. We're very off 
off colored. We told people from the very beginning that right. if you know we're very risque, we're very off color, you know, very non PC, <laughs> you know. So if you're very politically correct, we're not the show for you. You're you know? not the show for right. you. Yeah. All right. So can you tell everyone? Um, I was seeing that you were talking about on the show. You guys can definitely check this out on the podcast for Tantalk Radio Hollywood Connections. Can you talk about the show that you are currently um, getting ready for? No. Oh, like, you do it. I let you hold my mic. Oh, okay. All right. We'll tell you. Oh, only, only for you. Thank you. Only special for you. I have a question. I have, I have a question. Alexia does a lot of major movies and horror movies, and I see this movie named Alexia because you know you've got Carrie. And uh, wait, till you see these photos. But would you, when she turns eighteen, could she come over and you interview her, or you know about her acting career? And she's done so much. And how old are you? Seventeen. All right. So that was my question. And she we exits. Could, we could actually interview her now. Two ninety nine a minute. <laughs> Tonight, we can interview you. You no, no. I only, I'm the only one that gets to hold the mic. No, no. I get to hold the mic. No. We did an hour on your show, and you never had to hit the dump button. That. Yeah. See, professional. We are professional. I mean, we we do tell a lot of people this that they have to understand that when we created DedX Radio, it wasn't just an off the wall idea. The thing about DedX Radio is that the four of us, which the other fourth one is not here, John Rusnick, are actually very smart, come from very creative backgrounds. I mean, terrestrial radio, movie, directing, acting, you know, producing. Yeah, so we have a very extensive background amongst the four of us. I want to answer something, because uh, about, you know, interviewing her after she's 18, uh, we do do, uh, we offer clothing optional interviews. Yes. So, yes. Of course, I'm clothing optional, it's completely on right? for me, no matter what age. <laughs> Just letting anyone know who's watching. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Keep that one. No, no, no. 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 I meant I meant we'll be naked. Uh, no, that's wow. okay. That's okay. We can have the clothes on for anything. But yeah. the okay, by the end of the day, we know how to be professional. That's good. Calvin's gonna end real quick with one question. You have one question for them. I'm still not your dad. <laughs> Turn around. I wasn't asking that. Live. Was it live or memorized? Here we go. What? What are you guys' favorite part in just all overall? I'm glad you clarified that. Uh, I would say my favorite part is actually meeting new people. That's what I love about the job that we do. More comments? Yeah, my, my favorite part is just bringing laughter and entertainment to everybody, meeting the new people and uh, getting to just know some, just seeing things and, and being places that we've been blessed to be able to do, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, that's really it. Our loyal fans. Yes. We really do. Matter of fact, our fans, we don't even refer to them as fans. We call them thoughts, which means friends of the show. Okay. Even last comment? Well, my favorite thing is all the money and uh, the fact that we actually can get away with murder. Yeah. Now, actually, I mean, they, they, I mean, to be real, they, they, they no, seriously, they, only they did. Shepherd only Shepherd Sound. They, they did take mine. I mean, really, because it really is about the people for us. I mean, uh, doing events and, and coming out and, and hanging out with you guys. I mean, we just, it, it's, it's really, that's what this is all about. And it's just having I, fun. I have a question. Now, when I came to your table and I'm pla uh, passing out the, you know, uh, C uh, fan, uh, fan, uh, fan to C dot com, and did you believe me when I said I have a radio show? And you're like, what's this chick doing? She's like passing cards out at every table. No, no, no. Actually, I, I totally believe you. I mean, it threw me off when you were flashing us first to get our attention, <laughs> but, <laughs> but that happens to us often wherever we go. So, I mean, we thought you we were just another groupie at first, <laughs> but then when you came over the the paper, I was like, oh, actually, okay, cool. No, uh, actually. You know, when you came over, well, we get that all the time, I and mean, we do it to people too. We are definitely in that group of guys that we're not scared to do anything. I mean, you know, for our TV show, Dedex Chronicles, you know, our executive producer is a guy that created Chucky, who is the director of Child's Play and multiple other iconic films. Yeah, he's our executive producer. If we were, you know, we had already talked to him and got him on our show, and we were only like maybe 50 episodes in on Dedex Radio. I mean, because we're not scared of anything. And knowing that, but these people, they're very smart, very busy business, when they talk to us, they realize that we know what we're doing, too. So they had no problem working with us. Well, I just want to thank you so much. And you are such an inspiration. And what a go-getting. And, and I just want to know one last question. Ask them how they all met. We did talk about this on the air. But um, how did you guys meet? It was a special bar. Yes. And uh, no, uh, actually, we were, well, these two have been friends a lot longer than me. Jeff and I met on the set of a uh, film that our fourth guy, John Rusnick, was directing. Uh, I was doing stunt work in the film. <laughs> uh, 
I was doing stunt work in the film and Jeff was doing some acting in the film and that's how we met. Then years later, we wanted to do a TV series. Uh, that Dedex Chronicles was the idea first, but we wanted to build a, you know, build a prominent following and numbers and everything else before we tried to move forward with a TV show. So then we decided to step into DeadX Radio and that's how that came to be. But we also are moving it into film work and everything else, so it's just going to be a full empire for DeadX. And I'm still the talent. <laughs> Don't let anybody... Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm going to ask the talent, where can they find you guys at? You can find us at deadxradio.com, Google DeadX Radio, all the social media, find us. Well, thank you guys so much for the interview. Now, I do have to say you guys are special because I wouldn't give a microphone up to anyone. So thank you so much for letting me interview you guys. And it was it was actually really, really fun talking to you guys. And I'd love to be on your radio when I turn 18. Absolutely. March 11th. You got it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching this interview. Stay tuned for more of my interviews on YouTube. Thank, thank you. you.